Clouds to start off this day. In fact, it's one of those days where we kind of have a layer cake of clouds. We've got all the low gray that's showing up here. I showed this to you earlier. That's what it looks like on the Golden Gate Bridge, and it looks like that across much of the Bay Area. But above these clouds, what we cannot see are the higher clouds that are part of a weak storm system. They're going to try and bring some very light rain to the North Bay later today. So let's take a look at all this in order. We'll skip over towards uh, the inland parts of Alameda County. That's looking out over Tri-Valley and Dublin. Plenty of low gray there. And that's what it looks like from our roof here at KPIX. The temperatures out there are actually a little warmer than you may remember yesterday. If you were up this early and out and about yesterday, maybe out in the yard or what have you, it's about six to seven degrees warmer in many spots today, thanks to all these clouds. And that higher level of clouds, which we'll see once this low gray burns off, part of that system right there, there's rain off the far northwest coast. Now, that does not look very impressive. It is not very impressive. But since some of this will hold together and try to get down here, by the time we get into the early afternoon today, let's talk about this slight chance of rain. We'll come in for a closer look, and I'm going to play that again more slowly. That gets us ahead into the afternoon. The best bet for rain is actually going to be up in Mendocino County. Ukiah, got a few showers coming through here in the late afternoon. That gets us close to like 5 o'clock. And that's about as impressive as this is going to look all day. As we get into the later afternoon, maybe a few showers here are trying to hold together through Sonoma County. Maybe a few off the point rays. And maybe a light shower or two holds together for Marin. If you got any rain today and, and you're in Sonoma or Marin County, it barely will be measurable if that. It's mainly just going to more look like the possibility for rain than anything else. And when you look at the totals, uh, they don't even add up to much. So in addition to a cloudy day with rain up north, here are the daytime highs today. And these will be the coolest temperatures of the whole seven-day forecast. Low 70s for the South Bay, 72 for San Jose today. Concord will go to 71. Livermore, you'll do 72. We'll top out at 70 in Pleasant and Walnut Creek will go to 70. We'll throw in some more East Bay numbers here. Oakland's going to 67. We'll top out at 67 in Petaluma as well. There's Mill Valley doing the same number. And once we get up into uh, far northern Sonoma and Mendocino County, the two places where we'd be likely to see any of this light rain, daytime highs will be in the upper 60s to low 70s. And this is the only day like this. Once we get to tomorrow, it'll be much more sunshine for everybody, with the exception of morning low clouds. And then we start a warm-up. And that does say 90 for Friday. As we get towards the end of this next coming week, that's still a ways out, Devin, so we're not going to focus too closely on the fact that there's a 90 showing up at the end of the seven day. But I think coming away with this, with the idea that after today's clouds and sprinkles, we're set for a sunny warm up for much of the rest of the seven. I think my jaw dropped when I heard 90. I mean, that's scorching hot. That's a lot hotter than it's been. Well, we actually have got up to 89. If you go back to late last week, last Friday, not this one, but the one before, we'd hit 89 in places like Santa Rosa and Concord, but it was one day. And you're right, technically, we haven't hit 90 yet. So let's wow. see how this plays out as we get closer to it. All right. Thank you.